<laughs> Hello there, boys and girls. And in today's video, I am going to share with you three of my most favorite everyday sayings. Others uh, include things like, you're barking up at the wrong tree there, mate. Or, a bird in the hand is worth a two in the bush. I mean, what does that mean? A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. I have no idea. But I'm going to visualize three of my favorites. So, come on. Let's go check it out. Number one, an absolute classic. The best thing since sliced bread. Now, people use this in all kinds of contexts, talking about another person, or talking about an object, or perhaps talking about themselves. You see, for example, I think I'm the best thing since sliced bread. On YouTube ever. Well, well I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be the best thing since sliced bread. There's sliced bread, and then there's me. Somebody will say, hey, have you seen my new car, mate? Oh, best thing since sliced bread ever, mate. Best thing since sliced bread. And it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. When, what, what? When did sliced bread become so fucking awesome? Why on earth are you describing your car and associating it with sliced bread? Well, am I missing something here, guys? When did sliced bread become so freaking amazing? So by using this phrase, you acknowledge that when you say the best things in sliced bread, that means that you're saying whatever you're describing, before that, you acknowledge was sliced bread. So Concord came along and you're like, whoa, Concord, oh, the greatest plane ever, best things in sliced bread. So there was Concord, and you acknowledge that what you're saying is it was sliced bread that came before it. <laughs> hey, <laughs> fucking sliced bread! <laughs> so you can even go back a hundred years, turn of the century, automobiles just been invented, and you've got the commoners on the side of the road going, Hey, Barry, have you seen that automobile over there? That thing is bloody amazing. Best thing since sliced bread. It, it bloody is, I. Best thing since sliced bread. And you got the guys in the car, you know, the rich guys going, <laughs> Don't you agree, Jeffrey? That this is definitely the best thing since sliced bread. With perhaps a bit of caviar on it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's close out this section on sliced bread because if I'm honest with you, I'm getting a bit sick and tired of saying that goddamn word. Now listen, a loaf of bread is alright. You slice it, it's pretty fucking cool. You can do a lot with sliced bread. You know, you can make sandwiches, you can toast shit, of course it's cool. But it ain't that goddamn awesome that it deserves to be in the same context of other awesome shit. For example, oh man, you seen that bird over there? She's fucking gorgeous. She has got an absolutely amazing fucking ass. Best thing since sliced bread. No! Fucking no way, you cannot compare a beautiful ass to sliced bread. It ain't right, guys. So I think we should all make a pact right now to stop using sliced bread to describe awesome shit. It ain't right. So, together, from now on, we will not use the word sliced bread to describe awesome shit. Number two, an absolute classic, and one for the common folk, because every common person in England uses this one. I won't touch that with a ten-foot barge pole, or I won't touch him with a ten-foot barge pole. Look, you know, I won't touch you with a ten-foot barge pole. You know what I mean? So basically what it means is that you're repulsed by something, and so not only would you not touch it with your bare hands, or touch the object or the person with your bare hands, but you, you wouldn't even touch it with a ten-foot pole. A ten-foot fucking pole, you won't touch it. That's how repulsed you are when you use this saying. That's how much you hate the person or the object that you wouldn't touch it with a ten-foot fucking barge pole. Fucking, fucking barge poles, man. Woo! Some of those barge poles about boys and girls. Woo, woo, woo! You won't touch anybody with them, though, would you? Just swinging them about. Woo, woo, woo! Darlings, I'm skipping, I'm dancing. Oh, oh today. Oh, oh, you are bloody beautiful. You have got to let me take you out on the town sometime, baby. Why, heavens to Betsy, no. I wouldn't touch you with a ten foot barge pole, which I happen to have right here. But I'm not going to touch you with it. Well, bug off then. 
You see what I mean? Totally impractical. Who the heck carries around a 10 foot barge pole? This saying makes absolutely no sense. There are easier ways of expressing disgust than a 10 foot barge pole. All right, guys, we have now reached my final example of the day. Number three, as thick as two short planks. What is that? You're basically insulting somebody's intelligence. You're calling them stupid. You're calling them as thick as two short planks. You know, thick, dense, dumb as fuck. Okay? But to do it properly, you have to use a Yorkshire accent, which I happen to have. And you have to do it really, really thick, deep, dense Yorkshire accent. You are as thick as two short planks. See what I mean? It sounds perfect for this saying. So for me, I can deliver it perfectly every single time. You are as thick as two short planks. See what I mean? Perfect. All right, let's be serious for just a second. Does this saying actually make any sense? Maybe I'm being as thick as two short planks because I really am having a difficult time understanding this saying. You know, wh what does it mean? As thick as two short planks? You have one plank of wood. No, nope, don't really get it. it. Two planks of wood. Two thick, dense planks of wood. What does it mean? I can't... Well, hello, Mrs. Clentone. Now I understand all you had to do was show up and I appreciate it. I understand now two dense, thick planks of wood. As thick as two short planks. Mrs. Clentone, I appreciate your help. Fucking hell, thank you so much. Okay, so in today's video, we have covered three everyday sayings. And for a bit of fun now, we are going to combine them. So, Mrs. Clentone, please come on down. I, I want to just describe you for a second. Thank you for joining us. Just, just stay there for a second. Mrs. Clentone, I think that you think you are the best thing since sliced bread. Yes, you do. You think you are the best thing since fucking sliced bread. But you know what? I wouldn't touch you with a barge pole. Not with a 10-foot barge pole. And you know why? Because you are as thick as two short planks. Woohoo!